the okay yeah it's picking up the audio okay hello everybody welcome back hope we're all having a lovely saturday morning slash afternoon um thank you first of all thank you who was it who was it who was it thank you ryan for contributing to both the halo uh, legendary challenge and the webcam challenge and hello mikey how are you doing today see you got those see you got those eyes trained on the stream how's everyone doing today Hope we're all doing well. Last uh, last time uh, I left off was actually not a good time to leave, uh, as I had a blackout. Um, so uh, because of that, I did some of this mission, but when the blackout happened, I lost uh, progress. So thankfully, I saved before I did this mission, like right before I did this mission, so I didn't miss too too much. But it was it was really unfortunate. I really wanted to at least get through this mission before I would have ended the stream. But unfortunately, you know, uh, power outages had other had other plans. So, but now I'm back, and we are going to be continuing with some more of Killeek. To at the very least uh, do a couple more levels, get a little bit further. Again, I don't recall how long this game is. I I mean I don't know. For all I know, I could be at near the very end of this game already and not know it. But uh. I wanted to at least complete this mission before I ended the stream, but that unfortunately didn't happen. So uh, I uh, I got to redo some of this level. But you know that's that's not too bad. I, I was actually enjoying this level a lot when I did it, so that won't be too bad. But anyways, how is everyone doing today? Also, this is uh oh, how do I pause? This is a little loud on my end, so I'm gonna turn. That. I got all these drink drink in the way. There we go. Yeah, it was at 45. But, okay, it's definitely not as loud as it used to be. Uh, let's go back to this gun. I remember last time when I did this, that took about 38 shots to drop. Hey, Ferris, congrats on being first. How are you doing? Yes. <laughs> Oh, it's working now? Are you talking about the stream or are you talking about the sound alert? I don't think I had a problem with the sound alerts. I mean, I could be wrong. Thank you for contributing to the Halo uh, Legendary Challenge as well. Where is this guy? Oh, oh, it's these guys. Damn it, because I stuck on a wall. Battery secure. I don't want to actually pick that up. Now he's going to hurt me. can't do anything about that. Stream, yeah, well, well, we'll see so far. So far it seems to be running, but um, at the same time, I st also still don't have service on my phone, so I can't do hotspot. And if I do lose power again somehow, oh, shoot yeah. these things, then I have no way of letting everyone know, which is unfortunate. <laughs> okay, I remember those things were hard to shoot. I'm going to return. I'm going to try and find the Gatorade beam on this level. I think I did find it, or I lost a connection. Okay, so 38 shots. There you go. Yep, 38 shots. Oh, and yes, hydrate. Thank you for that. Oh, it's good to have a good water filter. <laughs> I drink so much water that my water filters go out, like much quicker so it's always like very common for me to drink water and be like oh this is not that good if i remember the gatorade beam was over this way access denied without key card. well it's right there but i can't access it right now i am also running out of ammo for this gun so we're gonna switch to this a little spider that could shoot me repair part secured I hope the key card's not in that room where those little potted plant looking things are, but I might as well go ahead and check. So that way, uh, I don't have to, like, waste all that time. Because I do remember going into that room, and that was when my stream, that was when everything cut off. I think I found the key card that was going to lead me into that room because I was heading over there. And then that's when the connection cut off. Not even this way. Data it's back back up here. This is where I came from. <laughs> Alright. Repair 
Okay, there's the key card. Yeah, it was in this room. Cartridge secured. And this is cartridge for the pistol. Cartridge secured. We're at 92 now. But I'm gonna get the Gatorade beam anyway, so I guess I can start using this more. Or even this gun. I, I really should try using this gun more. It looks like it's a lot more powerful. Okay, connection's off, good. Off. Cartridge secured. Gatorade beam! Energy charge. My bad, if you were trying to talk to me on- wait. My bad, if you were trying to talk to me on my comment, I seen you started to play, I couldn't hear anything, my phone was connected to my vehicle via Bluetooth. And I was tripping out thinking Twitch is broken. Okay, so funny story, that has happened to me too plenty of times, where um, I had this stream open on my car's uh, Bluetooth. And the sound would not play through it at all. And I, I had the same problem. No, I was just uh, asking how you were doing and thank you for the hydration uh, redemption. And speaking of, thank you, Byron, for the webcam uh, challenge redemption. How are you doing? Gatorade beam! Yep. We found our Gatorade beam. Oh, crap. Uh, there you go. I shot the door. I thought it was Metroid. Sorry. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 13, so... Battery secured. I'm definitely gonna have to go back to the Gatorade beam a lot, but that took 13 shots to drop down that satellite-looking thing. It is strong, though. It just uses up so much of your energy, it's not even funny. Byron, was last seen playing Super Mario 64. How are you enjoying it? I saw you were doing the basement uh, area, or the mansion earlier, uh, the other day. Hey, Epic Ferris and Mikey. Uh, who is this Epic guy? I have no idea who this Epic guy is. You might need to do something about that mayhem. How are you doing? If you don't recognize somebody, then uh, please let me know. <laughs> How are you doing, mayhem? And speaking of energy, let's go back to that Gatorade beam because I'm already running out. I wish there was a way to like upgrade your battery. Like you can upgrade your defense on here. You're chilling at work, but you're tired. Oh, I know the feeling. I've been tired all week, honestly. Today I'm feeling a lot better. My internet seems like it's feeling a lot better. Actually, my CPU is running a little bit higher than normal. We are at 42%. Why are we doing that? Okay, we're at 38. Oh. Wow, I actually caught that. The uh, my uh, CPU was was starting to run a little hot there just now, and my I dropped uh, quite a few frames. So that would be on my computer side. Then I'm gonna have to take a look at that and see if it if it, if that keeps happening. I might need to restart my computer if that becomes an issue. Toronto is taking on Denver. Ooh, I do not know how Denver's doing. Okay, so 13 shots. Secured. Yeah, my CPU is running a little higher than usual. Uh, my frames are doing fine. I'll I'll definitely try and keep an eye on that. My okay, it's dropping back to 18. I might need to restart my computer if this keeps happening. Maybe it's dusty. No, I, I dust my computer. I haven't restarted my computer uh, since the power outage. Mostly because it, it had to be turned back on. That may have messed something up. I may need to reboot something. Uh, it does like random damage, Battery I guess. Secured. That definitely was like 15 shots right there. I'm also running out of energy again. This was a big circle, which is fine because we need to go back and get some energy anyway. We gotta get ready for that restart just in case. Well, I'll definitely keep an eye, definitely keep an eye on it. Right now, it's acting okay. It may have just been a one-time thing. Maybe something updated in the background, but we'll see. If I'm if I start noticing more frame drops, I might need to restart. Which I've been having to do a lot of that lately. 
I had to restart with God of War, and then I had that power outage. I, just, I would just like to have a good two and a half, three hour stream where there's no problems. But I guess that's asking too much, isn't it? <laughs> Someone's behind this. Oh my god, what are you? Well, it wasn't too bad, whatever that was. Just to think this is, just to think this upcoming week was the crazy week we had last year. Yeah, right? Record card secure. Cartridge secure. Okay, so I got both a record card and an ID card, so I need to find a computer really soon. Wait, what crazy week last year are you referring to? Now that I'm actually sitting here and thinking about it, what are you referring to? There have been quite a few crazy weeks last year. Access denied without key card. Okay, so I found the computer, but I don't have the key card for that computer. Yeah, my CPU is looking fine right now. I guess it was just updating something. But, you know, I'm, I'm still going to keep an eye on it. Here we go this way. Let's go this way and see what's over this way. Ooh, some goodies to pick up. Cartridge secured. ID cartridge secured. Cartridge secured. Got an ID card. Not a key card, though. I have not been. Okay, all the way down the end of this corridor, there's a way to the left. Oh, the snowstorm! Yes, there was that. There was that whole ordeal. Well, no, that what happened with the, with that was only lasted a few days. I couldn't stream at all during that time, but yeah, that was pretty bad too. <laughs> Aware that I'm aiming like to the left and I tried to look directly at him and it wouldn't aim at him. No, what I'm referring to with my power outage was just a random power outage. I think a main line got cut by mistake because the whole street was out of power. I was gonna walk outside to see if um, it was just me that lost power because maybe I forgot to pay my energy bill. That's not the first time that's happened. And then I walk outside and it was like pitch black. There was nothing. The traffic lights were out. The only lights that were on were the headlights of cars that were that were sitting at the intersection right by where I live because there's a major intersection there. And there was no traffic light, no uh, traffic light to guide traffic. So uh, that was very surreal. I'm like, okay, so something happened. It wasn't just me that lost power. The entire like grid went offline, and it was off for about an hour. By the time it was back on, it was the damage was already done. I just didn't feel like getting back to streaming because you know it's, it was it had been about an hour, and I was like, you know what, I'll just pick this back up on set or Friday or Saturday whenever I definitely feel up to it. I got 292 shots with that gun. When where you lived, you didn't have power at home for like three days. Oh yeah, that's got to be the worst. The for for the most part, I had power. I didn't have internet. But I did have power, it would go off like randomly, but it would come back on, you know, in line with what uh, the energy company was saying when they were doing like rolling blackouts, it was in line with what they were saying, so I didn't have too much of a problem with it. Oh god, there's another one of these things. Open up all these things. Battery low, battery secured, battery low. But then there was that Thursday where I had lost power for a whole day. And for me, I can handle the cold. I can bundle up, you know, get under the covers, play my PSP, Vita, Switch, whatever. I could do that. Or I can read or I can do whatever. That's not a problem. I can deal, do all that without power. Eventually the battery would die, but you know, whatever. I The thing is, I had these two dogs and one of them is an older dog and she can't handle the cold like she used to. So I had to get out of the apartment Repair and battery, go to my brother's who was on the key card. hospital grid. And he had power the entire time that that winter freeze came about. Low battery secured. Yes, that's the best kind of battery. The ones that you can't use. You can have batteries. I do need to pick up some double A's. Thank you, game, for reminding me. Oh! 
Battery secured. Cartridge secured. Repair part secured. That was a lot of fun though. It's definitely a lot better than the levels I did previously. I like the scenery, you know, the brown cave versus all the the, the cyberpunk-esque uh, scenery that, that was going on for like three hours straight. <laughs> There's definitely a lot more enemies, so there's a lot more stuff to do. Oh god, and then there's these kind of guys. And also just having more weapons to play with. And I'm out. Okay, so this gun, okay, this gun is. Sun Gim, Sun, bleh. Sun Gim guns aim at Sun Gim. That's really weird. There we go, finally he's dead. Repair part secured. What is this? Armor ROM secured. Ooh, I got a armor power up, so now it's version 1.7. Or 17, I guess, would be my defense stat if I'm gonna go with that. Uh, they stated it would be on for a minute during the time, and, but for where I live, the power only kicked on for five seconds tops, which was far from what the energy company stated. Yeah, I mean, for me, it would be off for about an hour, and then it would be on for like three hours, and then it would be off for an hour, on for three hours, off for an hour. It was basically like that. That, that was how it went down for like from like Monday to Wednesday. That's basically how it happened. And then Thursday, you know, the power went off. I'm like, okay, it'll be off for an hour. One hour turned to two hours, two hours turned to four hours, four hours turned to eight hours, and next thing you know, I was like, okay, my dogs are actually starting to freeze, and I need to get them out of here. It ended up being like a whole 24 hour, 24 hours before, um, this might be the end of the level. I want to go back and get that Gatorade beam. Actually, I want to go back and go to that computer terminal right quick. So Thursday was definitely the worst of them, and after like when it was starting to hit the evening and the power still wasn't on, I was like, all right, I need to get these dogs out of here and take them to my brothers who had power, and we pretty much stayed the night. The power didn't turn back on till like four in the morning, and it stayed on after that. And I had to get, I, I left all my uh, frozen, oh, there's also something here. I left all my frozen and refrigerated foods out on the balcony because the snow kept it cold, and I'm glad I did. And I wasn't the only person too, because when I came back that evening, um, I saw other people did the same thing. Battery I can't low. shoot them. Battery secured. When you have a low battery, you can't battery shoot this gun. Secured. Key card secured. Oh, here's the key card. Cartridge secured. Now I can actually go. Oh, is there anything in the middle floor right here? Nothing. Okay. That's basically how that. <coughs> Excuse me. That's basically how that whole week went down. Battery secured. Access going the right way, right? Oh man, that's that's quite a bit of a walk, but yes, I am going the right way. So I gotta. I'm gonna go back to that computer terminal, and then I'm gonna use the Gatorade beam, and I'll be done with this level. This level I actually enjoyed a lot more than on the other levels. Because there were a lot more enemies to kill, there was more ver you have more variety in your weapons. You know, this game when I first started, I was like, okay, is, is this really all there is to it? You just got to do this for like six hours or seven hours or whatever. But as you get more and more weapons, you get to be a little creative with how you fight enemies. And also some weapons aim and others don't, which is kind of weird. But, you know, whatever. In 1995, there, you, they didn't have the, the CPU to add creativity to a lot of these games. Especially since, as far as Doom clones go, this was on a console, which, you know... This was one of the first console-based Doom clones that came out, so they didn't really have any standards to live up to. Is there anything around here? Yep. Alright, let's go talk to this thing. And also FMVs, man. <laughs> Got a soda map. It looks like soda map when I read that. Come here, daddy. What is it? Access South Base. Dr. Kim. Hezik is the 
first life that existed on Earth. He's been here since the beginning of time. The real Adam. So either this guy is delusional or Kiliak really is the first being who have ever, li ever lived on this planet. Hmm, interesting. Uh, the one day I called in that week was Wednesday after working a double Monday into Tuesday. If I would have known that Thursday was going to be as bad as the Sunday into Monday snow, I would have called in that day instead of the day it was a warm mountain snow started to melt. Yeah. The wonderful thing about weather is you cannot predict Energy it. Charged. There's all this science into meteorology, and to this day, I mean, you, you just can't predict it. When, when that when that snowstorm happened, there we knew there was going to be snow. We just didn't imagine it was going to be like that, where it was going to be completely like a wasteland of blizzard and everything would be shut down because our infrastructure can't handle it. So then when we had uh, last week's, uh, you know, forecast that it was going to be below freezing and we were going to have sleet and possibly snow... People took it more seriously because the year before that, when we had the February storm, that was exactly how we prefaced that that blizzard was, okay, there's going to be some sleet, maybe some snow, just, you know, stay warm and we'll be fine. That was basically how we prefaced it. This year, they said the same thing and everyone was like, oh my god, we're going to have the same thing this year. And, you know, rightfully so. Everyone had the right to uh, to be worried. Like, not on the verge of panic. Don't, don't ever panic. Just be prepared. And people, most of the people... You know, we're a little bit more prepared this time around. Thankfully, it didn't happen. But, you know, Access after finished. last year, we're, we're a little bit more uh, cautious. All right, I think this is the end of the level right here. This is level eight out of... Oh. Lock off. All right. Did that level? That level went pretty smooth. Didn't have very many issues. Just with those little potted plant dudes that you can't aim at. But that's fine. moment please excess aka the now loading screens of 1995 oh and we gotta save that's right or 1994 i don't remember when this game exactly came out potted plants mean business just ask mario oh my god the piranha plants actually the people who owned the power grid knew it was going to be bad but didn't prepare for it of course not those aren't the people I'm talking about. I'm talking about people like you and me. We only go with what the meteorology report. Wow, this looks like a sewage uh, cave now. I mean, I'm talking about people like you and me. People who read the meteorology report, the weather reports, and we just go off of that because we don't know any better. We do now. But back then we did. But like last year, we just assumed we were going to be okay. Because, I mean, why else would, wouldn't we be? We knew we didn't have the infrastructure to handle the blizzard, but I mean, we're Texas. It, it never happens, right? We never have blizzards. Yeah, that's, that's typically what I refer to when I'm talking about people. I'm talking about people like you and me. The higher-ups, the people that know all this stuff, they, uh... Of course they knew. Battery secured. Texas, lol. Yeah, we. <laughs> a lot of the things we do is very odd. But hey, I love this state. Battery secured. Battery secured. I love the HBs Battery that we have here. Secured. I love the gas prices, even though the prices have been going up. What is. How much is gas where you live right now? I would love to know. I am very curious. Yeah, once every few years it snows here, but it never gets to how it was last year. That was a first in, like, so long. Most of the time when it snows, it's like, okay, businesses are closed down for a day, which, you know, that alone's ridiculous, but, you know, that's not really our fault. We don't have the infrastructure to handle it. I can guarantee you if we did, people here would be like, oh, okay, well, we're, we're going to be fine. Repair secured. Thank <laughs> you. 
I mean, it's hard to look down and dodge at the same time in this game. There you go. I didn't really have a good position to kill that guy. You had a huge snowstorm? Well, you're in Canada. Isn't that like par for the course up there? You got gas to Sam's for like two ninety four. Yeah, exactly. Like over here, gas prices are still really good compared to the rest of the nation. Okay, 32 shots. So 242. Or 38, not 32. Battery secured. Okay, I'm just trying to find like a key card, a computer, a Gatorade beam, something. Cartridge secured. Cartridge. Secured. I feel like that might be a hidden doorway. Right here. Except I can't open it. It even says it's a door on the map. That's a, That yellow uh, square means it's a door. I've dropped a few more frames since then, but I don't know when that was. But it hasn't been too, too bad. Oh god, where's this guy? What's this punk? Come on, aim at him. Okay, these guys are a little annoying. I don't really know how to handle them. Oh, uh... Hi! Get out of here. I don't really know how to handle those guys without getting hit without that other gun that I don't have any ammo to, if that makes any sense. He's gonna hit me. I'm not doing as well Battery on this level. Battery secured. Stay in here? No? Ammo. Cartridge secured. This. Oh, there's gonna be a new weapon on this level, because that's ammo for a gun I don't have. Same here. Looks like a missile. I hope I get like a missile launcher. That would be awesome. But yeah, that's ammo for a gun I don't have, which means there should be a gun on this level. Battery secured. Everywhere else is uh, $3 and above a gallon. Most I've seen while driving for GoPuff was $3.19. Battery secured. That's a lot. Oh, hey, look, looky here. New gun. What is it? Please be a missile launcher. One feet of snow? That's a lot. This looks like a Gatling gun. Well, 99's version of a Gatling, of a futuristic Gatling gun. <laughs> and, oh, I can only hold 10 shots. I guess it really is a rocket launcher. I guess we'll see. Oh, what? What was that? Uh, eight shots. Okay, that's that's not as strong as I was hoping it would be. Maybe it doesn't work on someone like him that well. I was hoping it would be like a massive rocket. How much? How much ammo does it give me? Cartridge. Ten. Okay. Okay. Never mind. That's ten. That's pretty good. Cartridge. Does it auto aim to these potted plant looking guys? Oh, it does. It does. If you keep your distance, which is fine, because that makes it easier to dodge. My biggest issue is it's not as strong as I would like it to be, and I'm constantly getting hurt by these guys. Battery secured. 
All right, what's over here? I haven't found like a Gatorade beam or a computer anywhere. This just takes me back to a place I've already been to. Let's go over this way. This takes me back to where I've always been. All right, map time. Where are we going? Um. Okay, we're going this way. I really like the music in this game. It's very calming. You know, I'm noticing the bar on the right as I'm switching my guns. I wonder if that has to do with why some guns auto-aim and some don't. Like, this one does. Uh, this one does, and it's got a bigger bar. This, So this one doesn't as much. This one definitely does it. This one kind of. This one seems to, so we'll try this. Guys, it's hard to sit still shoot these guys. Thank you for the hydrate. Okay, he's dead. I'm in danger though and I just took a hit. And there's more enemies in this room. I'm gonna die because I don't have this gun or ammo for this gun. Is there any other place I haven't been at? There is. Way up there, there's a left and right at the very top. Let's see if there's something here that I need. Hopefully ammo for that other gun. Because that other gun's... The machine gun is really good on this game. But they just don't give you enough ammo for it. So I guess at this point I should only use that gun for enemies that are both low to the ground or high in the ceiling. Oh, okay, this guy's not too bad. He's not too bad. Battery secure. I don't have a problem with him. It's like that, I can't really do anything about those guys. Right, let's check over here. I am miscounting. All right. Battery secured. Ah, this guy. I'm gonna die. I'm down to one. Die, damn it. Okay. Repair part secure. Oh, I found the Gatorade beam generator. And I found some ammo for the machine gun. Now, question is, do I go this way? I think they drop health, actually. Dead and I'm dead. Okay. That sucked. Okay, so for the machine gun, I'm just gonna save it for those guys because there's no other way you can hit them otherwise. They shoot too quick, they do too much damage to really linger and try to fight them. The potted plants, dude, I can kind of fight them off with the regular gun. It's a little tricky, but I'll figure it out. Those guys, there's just there's just too much, uh, they have too much elevation to try that with. They shoot too quick, they're really accurate, their projectiles are fast. I, I'm just gonna save the machine gun for those guys. You 
looking up how many shots am I going to start with? Because that's at the very beginning, so I can take out those guys now. I only have 40. Okay. Uh, change of plans, we're going to go to the left first. There's this guy, satellite looking dude. Battery secured. Okay, I can kind of dodge this guy. Like, if there's only one of those guys, I can handle them. I got cartridges. Let's check out those two, uh, ceiling worms, parasite worms, whatever you want to call them. I'm sure the enemies have official names on this game, I just don't have a booklet for it. Oh, this guy. Battery secured. Oh, come on, aim at him. Iron shaming at him. There you go. Repair part. ID card. Repair card. Secured. Without key card. I have a key card. I guess it's not the right key card. All right, it's up here. Oh, here's the computer. Cartridge secured. Cartridge secured. Oh, I picked something up. What did I pick up? Access South Base. Oh, I got a map. Oh, that that's that's really big help because this is kind of Access a bigger level. Oh gosh, it really is a bigger level. Okay, so the area to my right is actually the end of the level. Man, if I, if I had the key card for that door, I could just speed run out of this level. But I would like to pick up the weapon at the very least. Because I don't know if the weapons are missable in this game. Like, if you don't pick them up, are they gone for good? Because so far I've only found, like, one slot for each weapon. Message received. Captain, something's wrong. I can't get through to headquarters. I feel like he told me this already. Like in the last access denied without key card. Like in the level before the last one. I feel like you told me that too. Have you tried burst transmission? Have you tried using the walkie-talkies? I'm sure those were popular in 1995. Just get just get a hold of King Kai and have him uh tell uh transmit your voice to people to the headquarters that you're trying to get a hold of. Battery secured. Can't open this. All right then. Guess that's a one way. Damn it. Battery secured. Gotta go work now. Not a problem, Ryan. Take care and have a good day and kick ass at work. Tell those shopping carts they can't tell you what to do. Damn it. Battery secured. 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 Battery secured
battery, battery secured. secured battery secured I was about to say, do I not have that command? I was like, I should have that command. Or either that, or it'll be like, like that one time a few months ago where Nightbot just straight up stopped working. I guess it was on strike. <laughs> uh, oh, is this that potted plant looking thing? Yep. This thing takes a lot of hits. There you go. There's one behind me too. Oh no. Uh, Repair part secured. Oh yay. There you go. Those things low. just take a lot of shots. Repair part secured. Battery low. I know. 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 Battery low. You know, for a device that's low on battery, you're sure you're using a lot of it to battery say. Low. Energy charge. Seriously, for having a low ba for having low battery, the last thing you want to do is exert more of its usage by constantly saying battery low. I don't know. That's just me. Where's that going? Okay, I can't use the first right. I was going down the second right. I'll go down here. takes the same amount Battery of secured. or rather this causes the same amount of damage as the regular pistol I was counting how many shots that was the regular pistol does 38 and so does that I was hoping it would do a little bit more but I guess not cartridge secured who's near oh oh this is where oh this guy okay here we go here we go. Oh god, there's that guy. Okay. I was like, what is that? I was like, what the hell, Battery what kind of secured. shot was that? And it was that, that doofus. Battery repair part secured. Battery low. Repair part secured. And once again. Battery low. Battery low. Battery low. And remember back in the early 90s when everyone had Game Boys? Battery low. And it said that every two seconds when you were playing your game? Battery low. Battery low. Like you see a you see a magic carp and you're like, yes, I'm gonna catch it. Battery low. Wait, no, no, no. Just put your Game Boy in that Gatorade beam, it'll all be fine. Battery low. <laughs> I 
Hey kids, your Game Boy running out of juice? Just put it in the Gatorade beam, it'll be fine. Okay, I want that new gun at least. Did I ever find the ID? Ah, uh, you know what? The ID guard's probably in that bottom right room where those those other guys are that I can run through. Uh, I missed him. Battery secured. Low battery, battery secure. There we go. Battery secured. Cartridge secured. See, those spider jits are not that bad if you if you keep your distance. And obviously when they run into you, they blow themselves up, so, you know, if you want to live a longer life, just don't tackle them. What is that called? A retro cryon? Hold on. Access data screen. A retro cryon. I can probably guarantee you that that has never been said in any, in any other medium ever in the history of mankind. Hey, have you ever used the Eritro Cryon? The hell is that? It's this gun! Okay, uh, it looks like a missile launcher that takes eight shots to kill this punk. Access data screen. Might as well use these 38. <laughs> Battery and just to clear up the map, there you go. I want to pick up the ammo that it that offered here. How many of this do I have? I have 92, so I should be able to take out those parasite worms in the other room. That's probably where the key card to, to exit the level is. Cartridge secured. Cartridge secured. Nothing else in this room, right? Oh, all right. Let's go. Data and that's the only room I haven't been in yet. Wait, how good is the Retro Cryon's uh, range? It is not that... Well, it's alright, but nothing like this. This thing's range is incredible. For a machine gun, too! I mean, it's no shotgun, but, you know... Machine guns are not the most accurate guns on the planet. If I had a sniper, that, that would be awesome. I would love a sniper in this game. This game's very slow-paced enough that I would really like to use the sniper. All right, here we go. This room's a little nutty. Okay, save the rest of that ammo for another area. Don't forget to eat your carrots. There we go. Repair part secure. Repair part secure. Battery key card. secure. Secured. Repair part secured. With that, I have everything there is to offer on this level, right? So. Access data screen. Uh, we're gonna go back to the Gatorade. Oh no, there's that that room over there. Well, okay, maybe I have to go in there next. There's that room on the left on the map that I haven't accessed, and it said the room was locked with the key card. Maybe there's a key card in that room, or maybe there's some ammo. This way, right? Access data screen. Ah yeah. oh, man, and it's just because it's the PS1 controller, but it takes L1 and R1 to look up, but in order to strafe, you can only use the L1 or R1. You can't use both. Oh god, it's more of these guys, of course. 
hits, whatever the hell that is over there. There we go, he's dead. Alright, what are you and how do I kill you? Is this really it? Or I feel like I might be wasting my ammo doing this. I mean, I don't know if I'm battery hurting him. Low. Repair part secured. Cartridge battery low. There's something there. This? Record card secured. Battery cartridge low. secured. Repair part battery secured. low. He does four damage per hit. That, that actually hurts. I want to try and kill him though, but I don't, I don't want to waste ammo just in case he is invincible. So I'm going to load up on battery and then I'm just going to shoot the hell out of him with my energy weapons. And if it doesn't work, then we know he's invincible and I didn't waste any ammo doing it. I don't know. I just have a feeling he might be invincible because he can't move and he can't turn. He might just be like one of those like trap enemies or whatever. I don't know, I played video games long enough to know that a thing like that could happen in a game like this. But if I can kill him, maybe he drops something that I might want. And if he doesn't, well, I didn't waste any ammo trying to. Dodge, okay, now, uh, aim at him, and, okay, he does die, and he gives you, oh, Key card secured. okay, well, I'm glad I killed him. Access data screen. All right, so the computer's over this way. and DNA conversion, the world will be my laboratory. Oh, that's it. Okay, well. We're gonna Gatorade beam up one more time and then we're gonna move on to the next area. Okay, this level was definitely tough, tougher than the last level. There were a lot of those enemies that you needed the machine gun to hit and a lot of them were in a really good spot where you could not dodge their attacks as well. But at the same time, I'm actually having more enjoyment out of this game than I did in the first few levels because there is more variety in the enemies and there is more variety in your weapons. And there is more strategy to how you approach each scenario rather than just running in there with the pistol, dodging a bit, and shooting enemies repeat. There actually is quite a bit more in how you dodge some of these enemies and, and which weapons you use against like these enemies. Well, there's definitely more to it as you get farther in the game. And I've only been playing 2 hours and 24 minutes. I mean, realistically, I've probably been playing this game for about 5 hours. But that's just the in-game time because, you know, I've died a few times and... Yeah. This time I went the right way. I did. Okay. This level that was pretty cool. <laughs> One moment, please. Please be a red cave. Oh, uh, save. I want it to be a red cave. Like blood red. Oh, this is okay. 
Doesn't look anything like a cave, but um. Alrighty, I am going to take a quick. Hey, Mog, how are you doing? Hope you're doing really well. I am going to take a quick break, but I will be right back. Let's get my Twitch back, Twitch chat back up. Alrighty, I am back. I'm doing, I just stopped by for a short visit. Not a problem. You were last seen playing Minecraft. That's always a classic. Okay, so what thought occurred to me? What if this is the last level? Because I mean, you know, 1995 games back then, other than RPGs, were not that long at all. This is the 10th level. I feel like, you know, as a early game that was trying something new at the time, um, well, not really new, but for a console game that was trying something new at the time. Ten levels, all of which are pretty decent length. That would be a good stopping point. I have a feeling this might be the last level. We, we shall see. Oh, God, where are you? And you can shoot. God, dude. Already, that guy was one of the worst enemies I ever fought. That was a little frog with like a rocket on his head or something, and he was just like, ribbit, ribbit. Another one of these guys. Uh, we're gonna try this gun. I don't even know if I'm hitting him. Okay, it did it did a little better. Where if this is heat seeking? Oh, this guy, this guy's not too bad. He takes a lot of hits, but he's, he's not that hard. What is this, this game? This is Kill Leak, the DNA Imperative. It's uh, an initial launch title for the PS1 and um, by Sony, and it is essentially a Doom clone. And in 1995, almost every Doom clone that was out was on PC. 
And uh, this was like one of the first like console exclusive Doom clones to have come out. And it, it was an initial launch title for the PS1. And it definitely feels like a first in a lot of ways. Oh god, these guys. Can't dodge in here. Die! Damn. It's Doom, but it has Gatorade, exactly. Yeah, there's a Gatorade beam, which I really should be looking for against using that weapon. For this level. Alright, let's go this way. Okay, I found the computer. Cartridge secured. Cartridge secured. Cartridge secured. Doorway. No. Is this doorway? Cartridge secured. Oh. It looks rough. It, it is, but I'm having a lot of fun. Although, if okay, got to take this into account. In 1995, you either had a three thousand dollar computer that could probably run Doom, because at the time, you know. In 1995, computers that could run Doom were considered advanced at the time. You either had a $3,000 computer and you were able to get Doom, or you didn't have that kind of money, and the PS1 came out at $200 and you were able to pick up this game with it. Does it replace Doom? Hell no. But if you only had like $300 to your name and you really wanted a game like Doom, I feel like you, you know, this is definitely an option. Does it replace Doom? Not in the slightest, but, you know, it, it has its perks. It's not easy, that's for sure. It's definitely not an easy game. I've died a few times. Battery secured. Yeah, this is a doorway. And I can't open it, so I can only go this way. The potted plant, dude. Yep. Access data screen. I wish I could shoot through walls. They're one on this side. No, it's only in this room. Ah, he somehow hit me. Okay then. I'm switching. Repair it's definitely harder to kill this. A Doom Copium game? Yes. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Please have a Gatorade. I need to find the Gatorade beam soon. I'm gonna start dodging these guys until I find it. Oh, I found it. Nothing in here? Good. I'm gonna go back and kill that guy. Uh, can I use it? Energy charge. It does look very difficult to survive. It is a, it is a more challenging game. It's not impossible if you just like understand the controls, which really aren't that hard to pick up on. But yeah, you you are gonna die if you're not careful. Guys like these are a pain. What makes this game tough too, and I have noticed it with this game, because it doesn't really happen as much in Doom, is um, in Doom you can easily dodge projectiles that enemies throw at you, except if you have the partial invisibility. In this game, enemies will shoot where they think you are going to be, rather than directly at you. So it is very hard to dodge some attacks, because they'll go to your right or to your left if they anticipate that you're going to dodge to the right or to the left. I have noticed that. Like, all these times I'm dodging enemies and they're shooting to my right, I'm not anticipating that because I'm so used to enemies shooting. Like, that was to my right. That's to my left. That's to my right. That's to my left. That's to my right. So, it's... They don't shoot directly where you are. They shoot kind of to your right or kind of to your left. So that makes it hard to dodge their attacks sometimes because you don't know, like... 
which way they're looking at you. And that does make it really challenging. Cause I'll be I'll be in a room where I'm fighting like two enemies at once. Normally, if you see an enemy, you're just like you dodge to the left, you shoot. You dodge to the right, you shoot. You dodge to the left and shoot. On here, it's like one enemy might be shooting to your right, uh, to your left. Like the enemy to the right might be shooting towards your left, and the enemy to your left might be shooting towards your right. You can't really dodge that. It's so hard. What's the lore dump of this game? Someone crazy making DNA monsters? That's the gist of it. He got a hold of Kiliik, which is evidently like the first uh, life form on this planet. And he got a hold of its DNA, and he's creating all these monstrosities. These guys are so bad. They're so annoying. You thought the piranha plants in the Mario games were annoying. You could just shoot them with a fire the fire bond, you're good to go. These guys, hell no, they just shoot at you and they take like 30 shots and I didn't mean to shoot that. At least I found the Gatorade beam, so I might start, start using this more. Ah. They're at least giving me health as I'm killing them, so I'm, it's keeping me alive a little bit. I think what would have really like benefited this game a lot is if they had like a if they had like Ed Bays too, similar to the Gatorade beams. Access denied without key card. I feel like that like that looks different than any other uh, exit to the level. Like with the Gatorade Beam, you can constantly boost your energy. I feel like they should have at least added a med bay to every level, but you know, at least have it to where you can only use it once. Okay, this guy's actually in a really good spot. Uh, I'm gonna switch to. I don't know how much ammo I have for each gun. That's the other thing. I wish it would show you that. Prepare the Gamerade Beam. <laughs> oh wow, this is a bad one. This guy's not so bad. These guys. I'm gonna die. Okay. Got a key card though. I used up the machine gun ammo, but that was just a bad room. Access data screen. Yes, that 7% makes all the difference. <laughs> ah, these guys. Like, if there's just one of them, that's not a problem, because they're easy to dodge. But they put them in really bad spots, and sometimes you fight them two at a time. Like, that was a really good spot for him. He didn't hurt me once. Well, rather, that was a good spot for me, and he was not able to hurt me. That was a bad spot for him, because he couldn't. You can't really dodge this guy and hit him at the same time. I'm gonna die. Like, you cannot hurt that guy.
Game, you failed this mission over. There's gotta be an easier way to kill those guys. And like that, that one weapon that I have, like the, the, the Aracon, whatever it's called, like Aracon Cryus, that seems to work really well against him, but they're not giving me ammo for that gun, so... Uh, let me try that other energy gun that I have and see if that heat seeks. Because the pistol is just not doing it. The, the, uh, other, the other laser gun that I have is just not doing it. It's not aiming at him. Like, I need something that, like, this isn't heat seeking either. I need something that heat seeks. Because you can't dodge this guy and hope to hit him. Because he constantly shoots when he's high in the air. Okay, I got him. Repair part. That little frog goblin actually needs to frig off. That scientist made one insane monster. He did! And, ugh. Why am I not aiming at him? Oh, because I'm out of ammo. I'm gonna have to deal with this until I get the Gatorade beam. Oh no, there's a thing right here. Battery reload. Part secure. Battery secured. Yay! A battery has been secured. So here's the thing, it's battery low when it's at 25%. I pick up those batteries and they give you 10%, so that truly means that every battery is a low battery that I'm picking up. So Ferris is right there when he said low battery secured. <laughs> okay, we got another one of those frog punks up here, right? Yep. Yeah, see this heat seeks. This is really the best thing I have for them, but they don't give you ammo for that anywhere. And it seems like the best way to take care of them, but I just wish they give you more ammo for this gun. Battery secured. I mean, it would only make more sense. On this side, aren't you? Yep. Can't aim at him. I feel like those guys I could probably just avoid. My AA batteries just aren't enough to power my Go Go Gamerade ju Juice Beam. Here we go. Speaking of, we got more Gatorade right here. Energy charge. figure out how I can get around this guy too. Like really, this is the weapon you should use against this guy, this guy, but there's no ammo for this gun anywhere else, so once you're out, you're out. I mean, because realistically, that is the best way to kill those guys, and it makes it a whole lot easier. I just can't find ammo for it. Yeah. 
Try not to waste, you know, excess ammo on them after they're dead. Am I running out of ammo for this? Alright. Alright, here we go. Battery. You were back. Battery low. Damn it, he still hit me. <laughs> Battery low. This is why turbo co this is why turbo controllers were invented. Battery low. Battery low. Battery low. I know, 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 I know. Over here. Energy charge. Heavy carrots. Now, watch this guy will die in like one shot. He's like one HP away from death. I just call I called it. <laughs> He was one HP away from death. I called it. <laughs> oh my god. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I feel like thematically it makes sense for the rooms to be so tightly knit, but so far everything looks cookie cutter from each other. Yeah, it's a science lab. In real life, the science labs I work for are exactly the same way. I don't see a computer terminal anywhere. So that's definitely not far off from how it is in real life. Oh my god. Come on. I know I'm dodging those damn shots. I only have five shots with this. Let's go. And he's alive. So... This guy is so annoying. He stops shooting me after a while, every so often, so I guess the strategy is to once again put them in these big rooms and just keep strafing until you kill them. And the tight written yeah, tight knit rooms make it hard to enjoy as a shooter. Yeah, the, there there were some bigger rooms earlier in the uh in the game and they were a lot more easier and a lot more fun to navigate through. I feel like this is either the final level or this is pretty close because the difficulty is really ramped up right now. Access denied, denied without key card. Access, access denied, denied without, without a key card, key card. I need a key card, key card. I mean, if maybe if you weren't a giant mobile Gundam barreling down hallways and a person, I'd be easier. To, it'd be easier to deal with the threats. Yeah, but I feel like if I were just a human and I got blasted by one of those shots, I would die instantly. I mean, I mean, Samus did it. She was a she was a suit of armor. That got, that was able to upgrade too. I mean. I did upgrade my armor a few times on here, so there is some RPG elements to it. Man, I can only imagine how I would be doing if I didn't get any of those armor ups. <laughs> no. 
Not gonna lie, I want to go back and kill those other potted plants back there, but I feel like I'm gonna get hurt in the process, so it kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah, humans can't eat batteries anyway. Exactly. Why, why would I be a human if I can't use the batteries that are just randomly on the floor here? Okay, I think this is the room that I died in. Are you the only guy in this room? No, there's a potted plant right there. I mean, I could cheese it. Okay, I was about to say, assuming I'm hitting him. That was fun. Like, that's gonna stop me from guzzling down battery acid. Oh, there's another one of those guys. Come on, come on over here. I mean, if, if I could cheese this guy too, that would be great. Damn it, he hit me. I'm the video game protagonist. Consequences weren't even invented in the time this game exists. No. Can I cheese this guy? Kind of. Oh, I think I'm actually hitting him. Uh. Battery low. Damn it. Battery low. I don't want to waste ammo for that. All right. Battery low. I think I was cheesing it, though. I think I did hurt him quite a bit. Battery low. Battery All I know low. is that this game had a sequel, and I hope the sequel is Battery better. Low. And I think, from what I've read of the reviews, it is a better game. Because, I mean, this was like a first game. This was their first game. They, you know, they had no idea. There were really no standards. They had no idea what they were doing. Then the sequel came out, and I think that game had better reviews, and people liked it a lot better than this one, so... I definitely think I'll get more enjoyment out of that game. This was definitely the first of its kind, and it's definitely rough around the edges. Oh, he's moved over a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah, I was cheesing it, because he got hurt. Alright, this guy. And then just the fact that you can do that too. <laughs> Battery secured. All right, we got some ammo in here. Repair part cartridge ID card secure cartridge repair secure. I got ammo for this gun, which is good because I think this frog guy was the one that killed me last time. And I'm already out of ammo. I missed some shots with it, though. Okay, cool. I actually killed Repair him. Part secured. Wasted all the ammo for that one gun, though. Don't need health now. I'm probably going to need it in a few. There's another ammo for this thing. Secured. I've already been this way, so... Uh, Access data screen. Where do I go now? Oh... Uh, This is, there, there's a few places I can check. Sequel time, Pog, Pog Champ. <laughs> I'm also surprised Pog Champ didn't show up that time. Nothing says F you mean AI than cheesing the system. You know it. I'll do it if the game if the game is difficult enough. I haven't been down this way yet. This guy's not that bad. Battery I could have just like strafed around him and killed him. I know there's a frog down that way. I don't know about this way. Bethesda like that. <laughs> it is real easy to cheese enemies in a lot of Bethesda games. Oh god, there's two of you. I can't cheese y'all. This is exactly what I'm talking about. It is hard to dodge those two because of the way they're shooting at me. And I saw ammo in there that I'm, you know what? The only thing these guys drop is health, which I feel like I'm wasting just trying to kill these guys, so... Battery is what now? There. I have no reason to kill those guys. 
I would love the health, but I feel like I'm going to be losing more health trying to kill them. So this guy took some DNA and made frogs with turrets and potted pl uh, plant turrets, I guess to save on security budget cuts. Well, there were some more menacing looking enemies. There were these worms that would grow out of the ceiling that were hard to shoot at. And there were also like actual machine enemies. The enemies here just look kind of funky, but there are there were some menacing looking enemies that definitely were not as tough as these guys. Okay, so I made the map. Uh, I mean, really, I'm almost done with this level. Cool. Aside from the world's most lethal frog, what's the worst monster? Well, that's man. Man's the worst monster. Data yeah, I'm going the right way. Unless this door's locked. Oh, I opened this door. No, I, that, this is not the door I'm thinking about. You're going crazy? Yeah, this. Uh, she she does a really good job of reminding you when something's wrong. And constantly reminding you when something's wrong. Hey, guy. How's it going? Oh! Okay. Hey, pot of plant number two. How you doing? I feel like I probably could try and kill those guys without getting hurt. But I, I just don't want to just don't want to chance it. I'm more so worried that another frog might appear later on. Oh, I opened that door just to feel good about myself. Imagine peaking monster design of gun gun turned frogs and that's it. Well if this is the last level then boom, there you go. That is by far the toughest enemy I've come across yet, because they're hard to hit. They don't have a lot of health, they're just hard to hit. Like, this gun's really good against them, but other than those two, like, ammo pickups that I've gotten, they don't really throw them at you. And I feel like if you're going to be fighting a lot of those enemies, they really should have. Just to, like, hint you that, hey, this might be the best weapon to use against these guys. I feel like there's going to be enemies in this room. Can I even open this? Lock yeah. No, oh, there's no one in. Oh, hold on. Oh, it's a boss. Oh no, I don't think I'm ready. I have machine gun ammo. Are you Kilik? Uh, where are you? Oh, you're right here. We're gonna start off with this. Okay, he's running. Get away from me. Oh, he's right behind me. Ah! can't turn. Why am I not turning? There you go. Okay, switch to machine gun and... Not really hurting you too bad. Alright, we killed him. Oh no, the ICBM has been launched. We failed. We were supposed to stop that. Oh wait, no, we uh, we we did it. We did it. We won. Is that it? No. Key card secured. System shot needs to take some freaking notes on those frog monsters. You want to know what the funniest thing is? You are not the first person to mention System Shock when I played this game. I feel like I need to play that game. Armor wall. Oh no, I just picked up an armor upgrade. Now my defense is at 20, so I feel like we're not done with this game yet. Why does it uh, look like a weird alien snowman? Because it probably is a weird alien snowman. Hey, you know what? This is probably not the last level. So I stopped the ICBM. I feel like... Now we may have another one or two levels to actually go after Kim himself. Because we stopped the ICBM from launching.
But yeah, you are not the first person to... You're the second or third person to mention System Shock when I played this game. So I feel like I need to check that game out because I've never played it. I heard it was really good, though. All right, level 11. So I guess it, that wasn't the last level after all. It kind of had that feel to it. Oh god, that means there's going to be... Whoa. I'm in a forest. I'm outside in this, uh, this totally looks like a natural forest. Nothing artificial about it. Okay. Also, that's a heartbeat. Alright then. Uh, let's, let's do this. Battery? Okay, so use laser gun against those guys because they drop batteries. Okay, so the levels are corridors, but at least the, the scenery looks different. Oh, ah, I got a guy in the ceiling. Come on. It's a scorpion. It's a scorpion whose tail is stuck in the ceiling. That's gonna suck. Like, oh my god, I'm stuck. Well, I might as well shoot you. System Shock is pretty fun. I got the collection when it was on sale. Is it on Steam? The older versions have some bad controls, but, like, the game is genuinely fun when you give it time to learn. This game's, I mean, this game is an old 1995 PS1 shooter. The controls are kind of weird. I can, I can definitely get past bad controls. These guys hurt. Ah, eh, they're gonna kill me. I don't know why I'm not aiming at them. That thing took forever to die. The first enemy that I fought, yeah, it did. I could just skip that. I mean, the game over screen looks cool, but ugh. I don't want to be reminded that I that I keep dying. Can't skip this though, can you? Nope. Super fighting robot, Mega Man. <laughs> You know what? Level five had a boss, and it was a uh, it was the um, it was the spider the spider rack demon knockoff from Doom on here, and then level ten had a boss. So I feel like level fifteen might be the next boss. Maybe that's the final boss. Maybe not. So either this game has fifteen levels or twenty levels. If I'm assuming they did it like that. Oh. I'm in the corner. Okay. Battery secured. Yeah, it's on Steam. The enhanced edition is also on Steam. Oh, well, I might as well get the enhanced edition if it's better. That's what it sounded like to me. <laughs> Super fighting robot Mega Man. I like that. I also don't have a lot of machine gun ammo. There we go. Repair part secure. Oh, God, those guys hurt. The Halo gun games. Come on, aim at this guy. Okay, I'm out of ammo for that. Oh god, it's a bat. Oh, this guy's fast. There you go. Okay, he heals you good. It reminds you of a Halo gun game? What's a Halo gun game? I feel like I know what it is, but it's just not ringing any bells. This guy hurts. Come on, aim at him. Yeah, give me some health, I'm hurt. I also need to find a Gatorade beam real soon because I'm already running low on energy. 
Halo gun, not Halo. I don't know what a Halo gun is. God, I'm running out. Of, I'm out of ammo for everything but this. Uh, here we go. Repair part secured. Battery low. Battery low. Oh, thank God, but this guy's here. Battery secured. Oh, light guns, yes. Like Area 51. That game's also on the PS1, but, uh... I don't know how in the world I would play that without an actual light gun. I mean, you can use the controller to play that game too, but, you know, it's... It's not as good. You need the actual light gun. When we got the PS1, that was one of the games we got with it, and it came with we, it came with two of those guns and that, that you could shoot them on the screen. It was really cool. But that was also a CRT screen. I'm gonna die. Come on, get closer. Yeah, I died. You step on pedals to poke out from cover, fire your hollow gun at targets, and then duck back into the cover to. Re oh, so like um. Time Crisis. That game was a lot of fun, too. Okay, so I guess a good rule of thumb is to not save when you're, like, so low on health or energy, because... Unless, or, unless they give you, like, an X amount of shield that to start the level with. Okay, so this guy's a pain. I gotta figure out how I can get around him. Can you get around him? Okay, cool. There we go. That seemed to work. Battery secured. Now there's this punk up here. There we go. Repair part secured. Time crisis is exactly what you mean. Yeah, those games are a lot of fun. Um, I remember I played through and actually beat Time Crisis. I think it was three. I don't even remember much of the game. I just know I beat one of them, and I think it was three. There's another enemy around here somewhere that I don't, that I don't want to poke out. It's that bat-looking guy. There he is. Come on. Be scared. I, don't, I only want to kill you without you ever hurting me in the process. There we go. Repair part secured. Now I'm going to use a little bit of this. Oh, you clipped me. I'm gonna have to see what that what that is. I wonder what happened. Okay, that's one. These guys are annoying. Repair part secured. Repair part secured. Repair part secured. House of the Dead or Typing of the Dead to some degree. I've heard of House of the Dead. I think I played that one. I'm not really sure. Okay, we'll get around here. I'm not gonna have enough to kill this guy. Yeah, so let's go back to this. Or, no, wait, what am I doing? I can just use this. Wait, right there. <laughs> The slowest explosion ever. Oh, is that when I got a game over? Dude, this guy's taking a lot of Battery shots. Secured. Oh, 
That time I killed him. Repair parts secured. This is definitely a trial and error game because I learned how to fight these guys a little bit better the more I fight them. Which I guess that's pretty cool too. Because other times I feel like I dodge their attacks and it's just not dodging. Repair parts secured. House of the Dead is like a game poking fun at cheap zombie action movies with bad plots. I think I've played it. I'm not really sure. It sounds familiar. But, um, yeah. I know exactly what you mean now. Okay, there we go. He's dead. And I'm already running out of uh, Gatorade. But at this point, I'm running out of ammo, so I'm, like, relying on this now. Battery low. Oh, this is a really long corridor. I'm just now realizing this. Battery low. Energy charge. You know what the other thing too is, and I, I don't know if this game implemented it, but if you keep using your battery like this and then recharge it and then use it up super quick, that's actually really bad for the battery. The battery gets super hot and it starts to drain a lot quicker. Like that's how you lose your battery is to let it get hot. You want to prolong your battery, don't ever let it get hot. When it charges, don't, don't ever use your phone when it's charging because that makes the battery run hot. If you're running something in the background, make sure that everything else is closed. Basically just don't let your battery get hot. Your battery will last you forever if it never runs hot. I know this because I've had my PSP for about 12 years. I rarely ever let it run hot. I usually only play on it for about an hour and that's about it. I only charge it when it is like at around 20% because that's about the optimal place you want it to be if you charge your battery. At the same time, I don't play it when I charge when I charge it like at all because it, it it's also stationary. So, um, 12 years later, it's still a really good battery. I didn't do the same to some of my phones, and I've had some phones' batteries die on me, like to the point where they just drain super quick. I feel like that's the secret to keeping your battery last as long as you can. Cartridge secured. Ooh. Cartridge secured. 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 By the way, what's this? I secured a planet? Holy cow! Gaia? Access data screen. Oh. Yeah, Gaia. And I think that's the last uh, weapon in the game. Okay, this is an energy weapon. What does it do? Oh. Hmm. Wow, it really drains your energy, though. That explains why your sister's Nintendo Switch burns out so fast. Yeah, don't ever let your battery get hot if you want it to last you. Unfortunately, my Switch's battery is not that good either. My brother probably burned it hot. And, a lot, and with a lot of devices, there's nothing you can do. That's that's just how the batteries are built or how, how the system is run. You can't really control it. Like the PSP, the games on there are not as demanding as far as handhelds go compared to, you know, games that are coming out today, so you were able to get away with it. Same thing with the Vita. I feel like the Vita doesn't really run that hot, so the battery on that's pretty good. But for, you know, like phones and other devices, there's sometimes there's nothing you can do about it. Okay, so that actually killed him pretty quick. Repair parts secured. The only thing is I've noticed that the little line on the right's not that not that big. So this thing does not have good like range. Like I can't aim at this guy at all. So we're gonna switch to this gun. I need to learn how to dodge this guy. Like, I know I'm dodging him, but I'm still getting hit. 
Repair part secured. But like with the Switch, I have noticed even if I'm like going through the store or I'm playing like uh, some game on it, it does get pretty hot and I do not like that at all. That battery does not have longevity whatsoever, and that's that's unfortunate. Out of energy. Please stay over there. Battery low. All right, Epic, I'll see you around. Hope this level doesn't suck eggs or throw bouncing uh, frogs at you. So far, it hasn't, but it's got its own little annoyances. Anyways, take care, Mog. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for stopping by. I am going the right way. Also, I picked up, like, a bunch of ammo cartridges, too. Battery low. All right. But I really want to try and hold on to my ammo now so I don't have to go through what I went through at the start of this level again where I just have like no alternatives. Always good to have alternatives. I just need to learn how to get good and dodge. Yeah, see you around Mog. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I hope to see you around again. Hopefully I get to see you for Halo someday. That would be a lot of fun. Come on. Battery secured. Here. Is there any items in here? No. Oh, something shot at me. Where? 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 They're right here. Need some health. Thank you. Repair part secured. Someone's in here. Well, I want to see how you're. Someone in the ceiling? That scorpion dude in the ceiling. Reason. Come on, aim at him. Can I cheese it? I can't! I was about to say, I hope I am. <laughs> Repair part. ID card. Secure. Repair part. Accurate. I found an ID card. I have not found the computer for this level. Ah, we got another one of these guys, okay. Battery oh, thank God. Secured. Repair part secured. Battery secured. Check what's over here first. It's so hard to dodge sometimes. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little bit more health now. Ah. There you go. Battery secured. I really should just go back to the Gatorade beam, but. Probably should right now, actually. Yeah, let's go back. I really don't want to. I really want to stop using my actual ammo as much as I can. Battery low. Battery low. That was pretty long too. That is like a whole pathway I gotta take just to get to the Gatorade beam. I hope there's another one Battery on this level. Low. Battery low. Battery low. Battery low. I wonder what happens when your battery goes to zero. Is that like another game over? Does it look different when you get that game over? Like does your 
suit just shut down? Battery. Yeah, low. it says danger. I feel like something might happen. Battery low. Maybe once I beat this game, we'll we'll sit around and Battery see. Wow, low. that thing gets red. We'll sit around and see if there's like another game over screen if you uh, if your battery actually dies, just to see what happens. Cause it'd be really funny if you just blow up. Cause it's like, wow, that what kind of battery does that? It's drained and then it blows up. Don't let your Game Boy's battery die, kids. <laughs> just saying. That would be a real fun experiment. All right, Nintendo, what are we gonna do for the kids? 1989 Nintendo, we're gonna make a, a handheld gaming device. Awesome, and when the battery dies, it explodes. Wait, what? It's exciting, isn't it? Low batteries were grenades all along. That would be awesome. Like in times of work, you got your, you got your, you got your Game Boy? Yep, it's at 2% perfect. The enemy won't know what hit him. Oh, hey, look, it's Mario. Co Explode. Ah! They died doing what they Battery loved. Secured. Now we're playing with power. Nintendo power. Battery secured. A well, fun fact, that's how we won World War II. We uh, threw half-dead Game Boys at the opposing uh, enemy, and they just couldn't get over their addiction of Mario. Access denied without key card. I wish you would just tell me if I, like, like what color key card I need. Other games did. Access I could just check here. Free. I have an ID card, so I need to find a computer. Hello. Come on, I'm trying to dodge this guy. I'm trying to not get hit because I'm hurt. Also, what is, what is that emote? Oh, it's the unicorn. Okay, I couldn't get a good look at it. Oh, I'm blind. There's someone else in there. Oh, I'm gonna cheese this because they're constantly shooting. Uh, this is one of those times where I really should use this because just standing here trying to dodge those shots is not gonna be uh, ideal. Okay, now I can switch to this. Except I'm not aiming at him. Why am I not aiming at him? Okay. There we go. Repair parts secured. Repair parts secured. Cartridge secured. Key card secured. Battery secured. I secured a bunch of stuff in that room. The game told me I did. Eventually, I'm gonna have to go back and use the Gatorade beam again. I hope the key card was for this door. Lock off. Okay, that's the end of the level. We're not done Access yet, are we? Data screen. No, there's still an area on the top left I, I want to explore. Or if there's like something else I can pick up. Battery secured. Uh, more specifically, more health. Uh, and ammo. I'm just at this point. I'm just trying to scrounge up what I can. But if it gets to the point where enemies are just in a really bad spot for me, then I might just go get the Gatorade beam and then get out of here. Oh God. <laughs> Battery low. Battery here low. Secured. Ah. Let's... Battery low. Battery low. Is there anyone in here? No, oh, it's a computer terminal. Awesome. Battery low. There's some stuff to pick up too. Repair parts. Secured. Battery low. Okay, so I'm kind of glad Repair I went this way, at least secured. for the sake of health. All right, let's open up that map that I'm just about done with and see what else I picked up. Access 
battery low. Okay, there was nothing else here. The map was kind of pointless After because you're already almost done with the map by the time you get here. Battery but the health, low. the health definitely uh, helped out. Battery low. I know. 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 Battery low. Battery low. Battery low. Battery low. Battery low. Battery low. You know, it's kind of addicting if you keep saying it. Battery low. Battery low. All right. Let's use this and then we'll leave the air, the level. Energy charge. Eighty-seven percent health is pretty good, and my energy will probably be at like ninety-two percent. So I think uh, I think that's pretty good to uh, to end this level on. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Maybe the next time I stream this game, if this game has fifteen levels in it, then this that might be the final stream to this to this game. Because these past few levels really took a lot out of me. They they were a lot more challenging and ugh. So yeah, I'll, I'll definitely end it after I finish the level. But um, I feel like one more stream of this, assuming this game ends at 15 levels, if it if if um if I can get like the tropes to how these games are built right, I feel like level 15 might be the final level. So the next time I stream this game, it will probably be the finale. And at some point, I'll have to check out the sequel, Epidemic. That's the name of the sequel. Because I heard that one's a better game, because, you know, by then they figured this out a lot more, and um, they were able to put more uh, more to that game than they did with this one. But, you know, this was a good, this was a good, uh, a good bit of history I'm playing through right here, and, um, I'm definitely having a blast despite all the headaches that it's causing here and there, but you know, it's always good it's always good just to go back and see the games that like started, you know, like like how Doom started the trend of Doom clones and this was like one of the first uh console based of the uh Doom clones that came out and you know, it's kind of interesting to see where everything kind of like kicked off as far as that genre went and um Eventually, when I get around to playing this game sequel, I will see how it improved. And there's also Disruptor, which was Insomniac's first game on the uh, that they've ever made. That's also a Doom clone. I've actually played a little bit of that one, and that game plays a lot better. As far as Doom clones go, Disruptor is definitely one of the better ones out there. So um, I'll have to try and get that game at some point. It did, I remember it did not run really well on the PlayStation Classic, so I will have to see how else I can get a hold of it. But, um... Yeah, so that's where I'm probably going to end it for right now. Um, just a, a, a little announcement. My affiliate anniversary is on the 15th, which is Tuesday, I believe. I want to try, depending on how my schedule looks, I want to try and stream something special that day. Uh, by special, I mean it's going to be another new game that I want to pick, that I, I haven't picked up yet on Steam. I definitely want to... I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light! light, 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 light. <laughs> oh, poor Dante. Yeah, so um, there's a game I want to pick up on Steam for, um, well, not only to start as a new series, but also um, um, it's a game that I've been keeping an eye on for some time, and it's finally on sale, so I'm going to pick it up, and I'm, I want to start that stream on Tuesday to start a... a uh, to play as part of my affiliate anniversary. That's going to be on Tuesday the 15th, so um, 
assuming my schedule allows for it look forward to that so that will be on the pipeline right now and as far as this assuming again assuming level 15 is the final level the finale will probably be either wednesday or thursday after that so and then i'll jump back into twist of metal and god of war at some point i still need to get back into god of war so i can try and platinum that game but tuesday assuming my schedule works really well i will let y'all know on discord for those who are not on discord yet you can follow me there. I post uh, when I stream, and we also do some multiplayer games, which we haven't done in a while. Uh, last time we did was Halo, which was last weekend. Um, I'll definitely have to schedule some more Halo or Brawlhalla in the near future. My week's just been really off, so I hadn't really like done anything. Plus, I don't have a phone with service on it, so I couldn't exactly get on Discord throughout the day and be like, hey, how's everything doing? Uh, what do we want to do? And yada, yada, yada. But... I'm hoping next week will be a much better week for me, and um, I want to try and see if we can do something next weekend. Maybe more Brawlhalla or Halo or whatever else, if anyone else is, uh, has any ideas on what to uh, do for multiplayer. And um, let us raid. Uh, let's see. We have Eckerd. He is playing some Valkyrie Profile. It looks like it's going to be the finale. I don't know if he's done finale quite yet let's see oh, i have an ad uh it looks like he's still going to be streaming for a bit so we're going to go ahead and uh send the raid over to him i hope he's not finishing anytime soon i'd hate to raid him when when he's finished so yeah, but this is also the finale, so if you don't want this game spoiled for you, then um, yeah, just uh, be warned. He is at the end of the game, or what he believes is the end of the game. I've never played it, so I couldn't tell you. So he's still going awesome. Alrighty, so that's going to do it for me. So remember, uh, Tuesday, if I can, I will stream that new game that I'm going to start a new series on. So, and then I will finish this off either on Wednesday or th Thursday, assuming it's the end. So take care, everybody, and have yourselves a good one.